In this double displacement reaction, we have PbCl2 and K2SO4 combining. And essentially the Pb, the lead and the potassium, they're going to switch places. So to balance the equation, let's start by adding the atoms up on each side. We have Pb, one, chlorine, we have two of those, K, potassium, we have two of those. And then I wrote just SO4 here because I see I have an SO4 on this side and an SO4 over here. That can make the balancing quite a bit easier. So I have one of these sulfate ions, SO4, on the reactant side. And then on the product side, I have one of these SO4s as well. I have one Pb, one Cl, and then one K. So everything looks good except the Cls and the Ks. And that's kind of convenient because I need to have two Cls here and two Ks here. I could just put a coefficient of two in front of the KCl. So now I have one Cl times two. That'll give me two Cl's. Those are balanced. And then one K, one potassium times two there. And now those are balanced. And we've balanced the equation. So that's the balanced equation for PBCl2 plus K2SO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.